What's up, everybody? Welcome to San Antonio, Texas. Hello, Gracias everyone. Saludos a la bella gente de San Antonio. But today mm -hmm. is Thanksgiving, and there's not too much going on in this town. We Starbucks found, was open. Yeah, we, there was a Starbucks open. I've been liking this uh, bacon, sausage, and egg wrap. Mm -hmm. It's good. The real... Mm, just take us through Eagle Pass. You want to go along the Mexican border? Sure. Okay. It's an hour slower. It'll take us to Fort Stockton. <laughs> and take us to Ovadi. Head northwest toward Fredericksburg Road. US 87 bus. You want to do that or what? Sure. <laughs> good. I'd rather see some new roads, right? Mm -hmm. Start seeing some new roads because if we go the other way, there are already roads we're familiar with. Mm -hmm. If we see a Mexican restaurant, we'll take something to go because I have a yeah. feeling that later on in the day, we're not going to be able to find anything Head to eat. southwest toward Medical Drive. We're not going to find anything in to eat later on today. Maybe Merge onto house. Medical Drive. Merge onto Medical Drive, then turn right onto Ewing Household Drive. Sorry, if you could just... Turn right onto Ewing Household Drive. If you would just show me on the map what I'm supposed to do. I don't look at the map, I'm listening. In half a mile, turn right onto Worsbach Road. Worst what road? It didn't let me go that route. They offered me the route, but then it didn't let me do it. Mm -hmm. Seriously, like we're retarded. So much for an hour again. I literally up this damn for an hour. Probably where I'm driving. Goals for the day are sandwich holder. Want to drive? Later. Turn right onto Worsbach Road. It offered me the other route along the Mexican border, but then it changed its mind. Yeah, it does that. No, it's not allowing me to go that route. But in your destination's mark, but it'll allow you. The Rio is right on the border. You think they'll have food there open? It's only two hours to the Mexican border. And then from there we can drive along the Mexican border. Head northwest on Ewing Household Drive toward Wurzbach Road, then turn right onto Wurzbach Road. You're not really helping me much. Okay. You just gave me a piece of paper and put it in there. Thing is awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, let's just let's just get going. Well, Paso, Texas. We're gonna have to drive all day. Stay on the major interstate. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hard That's call to make it. Well, it's offering it to me now. Mm -hmm. Again? But it's it'll offering stop me a route. In a moment. It's offering me a route along the Mexican border, which would be cooler because did our Mexican border videos go up there last time? Laredo did awesome. Yeah. Well, El Paso is a border town. Okay. Parkway. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Medical Drive. 
I love how I click on the route, but then it doesn't when it, Turn it, left it on secretly Drive. without telling me changes the route. I click on it and I accept it, and it doesn't, and it goes back to the other route. It's like so freaking annoying. So look, it just did it. I know it's an hour slower, but I want to go on this route. Let me go on the route. Stop changing it. Because as you start driving, it'll, it'll change your route again. Dang it, just let me go on this route. There's a lot of homeless people in this town. I want to go along the Mexican border. What's your problem? Stupid thing, that's what I want to do. advertisement for those apartments the last few days. Hmm. We should really see if we can find a Mexican restaurant that's open. I'll tell you something to go. And we'll eat that for dinner. Because I don't think in the part of the country we're going to go into next. Mm -hmm. Even on a not holiday, there's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Chinese people are infamous for being open there in the holidays, though. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a Chinese buffet somewhere. Yeah. They'll charge you, but it'll be good. <coughs> <coughs> back over here. That's not the hotel. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah, it is. That's the hotel. How are we back over here?
afraid that, you know, being Thanksgiving and being in this part of the country, there's not going to be anything open at all. Right through town, a lot of like neighborhoods and stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can find something that's open. Please, dude, I got the camera yeah. recording. You're sitting there sucking on that thing, like, hey, bro, be civilized, man. Yeah, that one cream is good with caramel chips. Yeah, <laughs> people are trying to watch this video. You're here, like, sucking on it, like, a, mm, relax, bro. You know, I'm Bandera Road, going into town. Start calling ahead and see, see what restaurants are along this road. Anywhere you can get like steak and beans to go. Mm -hmm. I doubt any Mexican restaurants will be open. That has to be like an American restaurant or a Chinese place. You gotta get something to go. Mm -hmm. oh, crap, if it's hard to find food in San Antonio, go for it when you get to. Little towns of nowhere. There's Chinese restaurants up ahead. Chinese food makes you sick on the spot. Imagine if you take it for granted. Yeah, sure. Get easy. <coughs> it was boring video we've ever done. Yeah. How was happening today? There's Puffy Tacos that's apparently open. Oh. They probably just didn't update their website. I doubt a Mexican place will be open though because holidays are really important to Mexican people so you might have better luck with like another type of Puffy Tacos Express. How do you come to San Antonio and not have Mexican food? This town's like the best Mexican food in the world, man. <laughs> At least, you know, on this side of the world. Yeah. It's like, now I'm at a Walmart. Say more Mexico. All this was so important to Mexican people. Big on the family, huh? Mm -hmm. But I want Mexican food. <clears throat> oh, and in California, mm -hmm. everything's named in Spanish, mm -hmm. but they don't pronounce it in Spanish. They pronounce it with some creepy English fashion. Okay. Like they want to be like El, El Campos in Spanish, so you think it's El Campo, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the English they'll pronounce El Campo or something. You know, like they won't like say it like, like they're too arrogant to like say it in Spanish. So even though it's like named in Spanish, they don't want to pronounce it properly. They purposely pronouncing it wrong. There's a bunch of restaurants right around uh, coming up. Mm -hmm. That's why I drove this way. Yeah. Look sketchy. Most of the hoods in San Antonio are on the southeast side, but we're trying to. Uh -huh. Yeah, we gotta go. Uh -huh. Off the glide. Graffiti on everything, that's so cool. <laughs> I saw a graffiti piece in front of a gas station, a Circle K. In the front of the I'm like, who, who does that? Uh -huh. 
they're open 24 7 it means they did the graffiti piece while the workers were inside yeah you see the jack in the box there's a bunch of stuff you can see the sky from here mm -hmm. yeah, is that what is that little bed little look at corner store that Watch is label street chills taqueria is it open you look there's a bunch <clears> of cars <throat> there Really? That's open right there, and it's a drive-through, and it's it's Spanish, cool. and Mexican. Me see it's Okay, cool. So we got options. Yeah, that are yeah. Open. It's drive-through, so you can just get it in the drive-through. What are they rating? Let's see what they're rating. What's it called? Me see it's Four point one Does it look good? Yeah. Hey, y'all. What is that? What type of word is that? Yeah. Hey, hey, y'all. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. It looks so ghetto. Could definitely get definitely a gang member. They got like burritos, tacos, tortas, nachos, got, gorditas, chalupas. Look yeah, look good. Boy, oh, is this open? Boy, oh, you want you want? Boy, oh, but you want? The big breasted chicken. It is open. <coughs> is it? Yeah. What are they ready? I love this city, it's so Hispanic. Mm -hmm. Look at the graffiti on this building over here. Let me see if I can pull up to this and show you guys the graffiti. I'm big on graffiti. El Pechugón. El Pechugón, what are they ready? 4.2, okay. and it's, they got 18 reviews, mm -hmm. and chicken looks awesome. You know how I feel about chicken. Ooh, the potatoes look good. I love graffiti pieces. Turns an obsolete building that's been abandoned into a work of art. Or a game build work, either way. You notice how much people live in my coming up fence down like that? They say they got really good reviews. Look how much graffiti there's in this neighborhood. Chicken and I like burritos. I want the burrito place down the road. I want to get a burrito. What was it called? The Taqueria Jalisco that was over there. <coughs> there was Pesce. Sierra Jalisco. Si. Can you not snore while you're still awake? <laughs> not snoring. Like, <sighs> no traffic. All of a sudden, you make a turn and there's cars everywhere. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. There wasn't a single car in this whole city. Sarah Jalisco over there. Yeah. Cool. The, yeah, we'll get something to go there. <laughs> Unless we find something more interesting. We'll take it to go and then we'll have food. Like in worst case scenario, <laughs> you know, if it makes it to our destination. Oh, yeah. We have food in the evening. If it, that's, love, how, that's usually how it sounds. I love if it how makes ghetto it. Yeah. this city looks. Like, yeah. I am starting to like the city. Like, imagine for like hood drive around videos. It's oh, like a man. never ending. It's a never-ending supply of crime and, and like graffiti and like cool-looking stuff that we're going to. Oh, that's cool. Have you seen a graffiti or anything interesting? Let me know. They got something, the Rag Rats. And it's got like the Rug Rats characters. Graffiti? Yeah. Oh, man. <clears throat> so, man. This city is so cool, man. And if we were to live here, you'd be two hours from Mexico border. So eventually we can go into Mexico. Yeah. And never come back. Uh, yeah. looks so, that looks so hood in there, don't it? It's fenced off. Six hundred dollars like, moves you in. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it, it, this city's cheap for rent. Taqueria right? Jalisco, but it's not open. It's not open. Uh, Those guys look Honduran. Very scary. You can tell they're like. Oh, look at a poppy. Just fixing the roof. And fixing holes. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that, man. Thanksgiving, these guys are still working. I'll tell you what, man. Spanish people. Spanish people will work forever. I love all the graffiti. 
be a great place to take on all my graffiti photos. Mm -hmm. Give me the iPhone. Nice mirror for us. Sure. I'm doing this for my Instagram. Tell me about my Instagram. I'm gonna start using it again. Oh yeah, we have an Instagram for this channel. It's Southern Life YT. That's the Instagram. Jose takes multiple photos, usually of his car, on backgrounds or scenes from a video you've probably seen. Yes, he is starting to use it. If you want to follow us on Instagram for that, we only have it for the channel. You cannot follow us personally because we are we got we have it for family only and close friends. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is before I upload the video. I mean, if you're, you guys have been asking me about Instagram forever. Yeah. I'm gonna do is I'll upload. Before I upload the video, <laughs> I'll upload a photo from the video. The Instagram. So you know what we got coming up next. Yeah. I love how ghetto this city is, bro. It's got so much like hood vibes to it. Mm -hmm. Like there's so much like character to the city, bro. I love coming to Texas. Oh, dude. I think I, I like San, San, out of all the cities that we go to, yeah. San Antonio, mm -hmm. as far as like doing dry run videos, it's like definitely one of my yeah. favorite cities, bro. I I have the feeling it would probably be better for us to stay on like main roads and just push it to there and then start making videos. One turn El Paso. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, we've been here before. We can be here, but crap, we got to get out west. Anywhere in Texas, Mikasa, we can go. We go whatever we want, mm -hmm. but like further than El Paso, it's a special occasion. It's just like between Houston and, and San Antonio, I haven't found a suburb. Yeah. Because I gotta live in a really fancy area, you know? Like, I haven't found a suburb that's like up to my expectations. Well, I like Katie, but... Katie! Yeah. <laughs> Katie! Katie okay, so it looks like those are the only uh, restaurants that were open. Gong, ba Gong Saba. Medical group. Gong this Saba? Is, this is... This is like interesting. This would keep me occupied. There's so much Mexican food here. Mm -hmm. We get like 800 pounds in this town. They have the best Mexican food of any time I've ever been. Oh, here. yeah. What are you doing? How do you hit your head? I'm not even going to ask you what, what that was. You Blocking your view of the red wheel. <coughs> oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah. But it's I hurt today. myself. In the, yeah. No, that's, they're just hanging out here. I think that's a red wheel that's open. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so I, that was the only place I was open. I think we're going to drive back. Okay. Sounds good. This looks pretty hood over here. What part of town are we in? Oh, this sounds interesting. We're in the inner west side. Okay. This looks really hood. I like stuff like this. Ooh, that's very hood on that road right there. Okay. I had already scoped it out earlier, and there's Mexican restaurants that might be open. There's like, see these all these Mexican restaurants on there? Okay. I'll see if I can go down that road real quick. Okay. I pull a U-turn. Sounds good. Okay. It's empty today, warm, but well worth it. Mm -hmm. and the more I see of the city, the more I like it. Yeah. It reminds me a lot of Tampa. You know how Tampa's like a Cuban place? This is like it's like a Mexican Tampa. I love this place, man. <clears throat> it's like a Mexican version of Tampa. The only thing I, I really wish the city had was beaches. That would be like the icing on the cake for me. Well, Corpus Christi looks like this. <clears throat> I'm starting to like Texas a lot. I think if I were to leave Florida. Yeah. Texas would be on the top of my list. Yes. 
you have the best Mexican food, you have really good, like, you do have beaches if you go to Corpus Christi. Mm -hmm. The only thing bad about the city? Well, it's only 10 months. Is that months property crime thousand. here? Yeah. Is extremely high. Because everybody that runs in the town from the south, they might want to steal a car here or steal yeah. something. You know, they have to keep going north. Yeah. <coughs> so there's a lot of people that are just coming through town, burning their way up north, you know. So, like, there's a lot of property. Kind of like, every apartment complex that I looked at mm -hmm. had a bad review of somebody saying they moved in. And even though it was a gated community, they, imagine getting your car stolen from a gated community. Mm-hmm. Like, quite literally, if you're going to live here, you would want to consider um, not driving a fancy car mm -hmm. or a pickup. Like, driving something that, like, looks really squared out that nobody would want to steal. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't, you, and if you pay attention to the cars, most cars look like square people cars. They don't look like gangster cars. Because if you have a car that draws attention, this neighborhood back here looks bad. I saw it on Google. Like a Ford Explorer? Mm hmm yeah. Something that a gangster wouldn't want to drive. Yeah, Ford Explorer. Like, no, like if you're a gangster, you're not going to show up to the hood in a stolen Subaru. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Yo, what, what are you driving, Holmes? Hey, man, I jacked this fool, bro. That's gangster, Holmes. Like, yeah, but you, you jacked the Subaru, man. I still stole it, man. I jacked the fool in traffic, bro. It's still bro. a Subaru, you carrot. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you going to go buy some Starbucks now, homie? Like, yeah, man, this food's whack, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to get any respect at all. You're just simply not going to get any hood respect by showing up in a stolen Subaru. So if you drive around a Subaru, like, you're almost guaranteed nobody's going to carjack you. <laughs> now, if you got, like, a Chevy on 24s, then, yeah, somebody like, yo. Yeah, that looks nice. Man, I stole an Escalade, homie. I want that. <laughs> man, you gangster, homie. You, you got an Escalade and a stolen Vato. You, you on point, Holmes. You know, you get respect for that. You're not gonna show up in a hood in a Subaru. Or like, or, see this little Chevy yeah. Aveo? The Chevy Spark. And like, hey, Holmes, hop in the ride, man, it's hot. Like, I ain't gonna be seeing that crap food. <laughs> and no vato. I mean, no me vas a ver en esa basura, bro. <laughs> or a minivan. Always go with the minivan. Mm -hmm. It looks so square, who's gonna want it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I am campaigning for the minivan that I want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I was like, we could get good gas mileage. It's comfortable, and it's so square. Nobody's going to want to take it. You know what my part of that is? I ain't going to be seeing that, fool. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to catch me in that car, fool. Oh, it's getting kind of... Why am I in the mud like that? <clears throat> Alright, so what are we gonna do? Like, the only restaurant that they're so they open the ones up ahead, there's like four or five minutes in the front season. Right? Yeah. So, so all of them? It says the I don't know if it was updated, but Call and see if they're open. Otherwise you gotta drive back to that place and leave. It like, says open until five. Call.
here is for Jack in the Box, but this is not open. El Pollo Loco. But they're not open. Está loco. The water burger is open, but I can't stand that crap. Anybody who likes water burger, I don't like you either. There's a Taqueria Vallarta ahead that has a fries for all. Cool, cool. See if they're open. Are they right on this road? Yeah. And they put so much uh, whipped cream in this drink, it's so good. Mexican license plates? Yeah. This is a very, very interesting neighborhood. This reminds me of like a sheet. Is that a low clock tree? Nice. Hey, Holmes. Estás en mi barrio, bro. I just like somebody's gonna come up to me and say that. And I'll be like, oh, no, uh, no hablo espanol. Amigo. <laughs> I play the I'm a lost gringo card. Mm -hmm. This place looks interesting. Dude. You know what it reminds me of? It's like a Northwest Miami. Oh, you got the boat boy. I'm cool. here they're cooking like authentic crap at home so if they're gonna go to a restaurant it has to be on point 
Okay. You know what I mean? Like, there, you're not gonna find a restaurant in this type of neighborhood that's bad. Mm -hmm. I hope. If they're gonna stay in business, they have to make incredible food. Where's this place at? Mexican right there? It's right there. The Taco Velarta. Is it right here? It's right here. Are they open? Yeah, they're open. It's not cars, but... Are you sure? No, that's close. No, there's people in the drive-thru stop. This has a drive-thru? There's cars. Yeah, there's cars. Where's the drive-thru? Right over here. <laughs> there? Mm -hmm. I don't see it. Right oh, there. that's the drive-thru. Yes. No, that's just her parking lot. No, that's a drive-thru. I don't think this place is open today. There's cars around, but I don't think they're in the businesses. It says drive through, but I don't think it's open. Is it open? It's on our inside. We'll find out. Dang, they've got garbage like piled up in front of us. Are they open? I don't think they're open there. Oh, yeah, they're open. Oh, yeah. Check your order and stay in the Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo es una orden para llevar? ¿Para poner una orden? Sí, para llevar. ¿Qué hace? A ver, um, enchiladas de pollo con salsa verde. No es muy picante la salsa, ¿verdad? No. Ok, dos. ¿Dos platos? Ajá, uh -huh. con todo. Um, ¿Tiene agua, agua de pomo? ¿Agua de pomo tiene? Bar ¿Agua de, de pomo? ¿Agua uh, de bottle de... water? No problem. Um, y unos tacos de asada. ¿Cuántos? Dos. Dos. Y um, tiene uh, como tan pequeña. Sí. Una tan pequeña. Una tan pequeña. Okay, nice. ¿Qué más? What you want? Tiene agua fresca. Agua fresca tiene. ¿Eh? Agua fresca. Uh, limonada, horchata, piña, jamaica, tamarindo. Dos de piña. Dos de piña. Mm. ¿Qué más? Eso es todo.